CataractCoach.com. So I'm doing a routine cataract case, and my technician says, Hey, Doc, I think the lens is misloaded. Can you check it out? So let's do that. So I use a spatula to pull the lens backwards. Now let's use the forceps and pick the lens up from the cartridge. And indeed, it is incorrect. It's arched forward. We don't want that. We need to push that central optic back so the lens folds into a U-shape or a taco form. And now push it down the injector. And I think that should do it. So let's take a look. We'll bring the microscope back over the eye. Now let's take the lens, which should be loaded properly at this point, And we can deliver it inside the eye. So fixating the eye with the chopper in the left hand. And then the inge lens injector on the right hand, delivering the lens. Here it comes down the plunger, down the barrel. Beautiful, opening up correctly. Remember, the haptic should be in the anti-S formation. It should not look like the letter S. And this is correct, so we'll just rotate that and get that lens centered up. So it went beautifully. Now, here's what's important. Cataract surgery is teamwork, and you may have your technician help you by loading the lens when you do routine cataract surgery. And in a case where the lens is misloaded, it's important for the technician to alert the surgeon because you have the ability to look under the microscope and see it with a lot more detail than the technician can do just with the bare eye. As a result, you can fix anything like we did in this case and get the lens to be loaded and then delivered appropriately. You have to be very careful in delivering the lenses and loading them carefully and correctly because if you don't, you can actually damage the lens. You can crack the optic, damage the haptic of the lens, etc. Every company has different protocols for loading their lenses, and it's important that you understand those and stick with them because those are the methods and protocols that have been validated to work the best with those lenses. So now we'll finish up our case here, seal the incision, and there's a beautiful overlap of the optic with the rexus. This case looks great. This patient is going to do beautifully. So I'm thankful for my technician for alerting me of a less than optimal lens loading situation. And I want your technician to be able to tell you, hey doc, help me out with this, it's not quite right. And let's do the best for the patient together as a team.